Hey everybody, welcome to DreamFramer Photography. Today I'm going to explain to you how to get paid when you sell photos online. When you sell stock photography, eventually you need to be paid. So how do stock photo websites send you money? First of all, you need to be able to receive money, and to receive money, you need to open an account somewhere. When I say an account to receive money, the first thing that comes to mind is a bank account. However, the banks are not the only companies that provide this kind of a service. There are other companies out there that you can use to send and receive money internationally, and their fees are usually lower than bank fees. Three most common companies that stock photo websites use to send money to their photographers are PayPal, Skrill, and Payoneer. If you don't want to use these companies, stock photo websites can also send you checks that you can deposit directly to your bank account. What I don't like about checks is that sometimes they get lost, sometimes they take a long time to arrive, and if you live in another country than the United States, it could be very complicated to deposit them. Now let's cover these other options, getting paid through PayPal, Skrill, or Payoneer. Getting paid through PayPal is probably the most popular option at this moment. Go to www.paypal.com and click on sign up button. When the new screen opens, you have to leave checked personal account, if you're not a business, and then click next. Fill out the basic information and create a new account by clicking on the next button. When you create and confirm your new account, click on the gear icon to fill out the rest of the personal information. PayPal works in many countries but not in all of them, so it's probably a good idea to Google and find out if you can actually receive money through PayPal in your country. If PayPal works in your country, you'll be even able to connect your PayPal account with your bank account. And that way, when a stock website sends money to your PayPal account, you'll be able to use it directly from there or transfer it to your bank account and then use it. Another option to get paid by stock photo websites is through the company called Skrill. The address is www.skrill.com. Skrill is very, very similar to PayPal, but it provides its services in some countries where PayPal doesn't. So, if you discovered that you can't use PayPal in your country, check out Skrill. Maybe that's an option for you. Just like PayPal, if Skrill works in your country, you'll be able to connect your bank account with your Skrill account. And that way, when a stock photo website sends money to your Skrill account, you can use it directly from there or you can transfer it to your bank account and then use it. The third option to get paid by stock photo websites is through Payoneer. Payoneer is a company that works in many countries just like PayPal and Skrill, but what's specific about this company is that when you open an account, they will send you Payoneer Debit MasterCard. You can use this MasterCard at any ATM that accepts MasterCards to withdraw money, or you can use it in any other store that accepts MasterCards. Of course, just like with PayPal and Skrill, you can connect your Payoneer account with your bank account and transfer money from one to another. Now when we learned how to create the environment to receive money, let's see how do we actually get money from stock photo websites. Stock photo websites have different systems when it comes to sending money to their photographers, but most of them have so-called payment threshold that you need to reach in order to get paid. This payment threshold is different for different websites. So for example, on Shutterstock you need to earn $35 to get paid. On Dreamstime you need to earn $100. On Adobe Stock you need to earn $50. On Alami you need to earn $75 and so on. This is the list of payment thresholds at some stock photo websites that I created for you. Now, when you reach this minimum payment, the payment threshold, 
Some stock photo websites will send you money automatically, while some others will wait for you to send the request to be paid. The second option is good for those who are earning a lot and prefer to be paid, let's say, on a monthly basis, rather than whenever they reach the minimum payment, let's say, every week or so. Shutterstock is one of those websites that will pay you automatically whenever you reach the minimum payment. So let's see how they do it. Websites that pay you automatically will always have a section in my account section where you can fill your payout information because if they pay you automatically, they have to keep your information in their database. On Shutterstock, you have to go to account settings to see that information. And you can see it here. Shutterstock gives you a few options for payout. Checks, Payoneer, PayPal, and Skrill. If you choose PayPal, you have to fill out your PayPal email address here. If you choose Skrill, you're gonna put your Skrill email address here. If you click Payoneer, you will have to connect your Payoneer account to Shutterstock account. The last box here is the minimum payout that you prefer. As I mentioned before, the minimum payout at Shutterstock is $35, so you can't put less than that. But you can put more if you want to, let's say $100. When you save this information, Shutterstock will remember it and they will send you money whenever you reach the payment minimum that you set. They will send money to your PayPal account, Skrill account, Payoneer, or they will send you checks. Websites that don't pay you automatically usually don't store your payment information. Sometimes they do, but you still have to track your sales and when you reach the payment threshold, you have to log in and request money manually. This is the list of those same websites that I mentioned before with their payment thresholds, but now I'm adding another column to it. The column that will show you which one of those will send you money automatically and which one of those you have to ask for payment manually. Now let's do the recap. Things you need to get paid by stock photo companies are a bank account or PayPal account or Skrill account or Payoneer account. The last three you can also connect to your bank account. For stock photo websites to send you money you have to set up your information in my account section of each of those websites where you sell photos. When you are in my account section, look for the payment information and add your payment information there. Your payment information is either your PayPal account, Skrill account, Payoneer account, or your address where they're gonna send you checks. While you're logged in, go to the help section or FAQ section of the website and figure out if the website is going to pay you automatically when you reach payment threshold or you have to ask for money manually. When you do all this, you should be ready to receive money. I created this video because I received a lot of emails from people asking me how do you get paid when you sell photos online. Since there are many stock photo websites, it will be too much for this tutorial to describe all of them in detail, but at least I hope that now you understand how the system works. If you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and if this video helped you, leave it a like. Also, subscribe if you're planning on selling photos online because I created the most detailed guide on YouTube on how to do it. See you next week. Bye.